Hey guys, it's Levita one here, and today we are back in Universe Sandbox 2. Now, I got a request from someone that they want a video on UI Scoti, it's called, so let's get right to it. First off, this thing is a super giant. Um, it's a p not too much more massive than the sun, only 8.5 times the mass, but it is huge. Let me pull it up. Here we go. Just look at the size. If we put it right here, it goes all the way almost to Saturn. So, this star is massive. If you put it out like right here, it's gonna make the solar system go crazy. Speaking of which, why don't we do that? While I tell you a little bit about the star. Well, UI Scoti is a star in the constellation Scudum and it is about 9,500 light years away from us. The volume is something like 5 billion times that of the sun. It was discovered in 1860s by some German astronomer and uh, well and I should have mentioned this before but it's at least a thousand times bigger than the sun which you can probably see right here. Let's, let's just go into chart mode As you can see, the sun is literally inside of the star. Or, this is the size of the sun compared to U.S. Scoti. And here are all the planets. It legit covers the entire sky. Like that. Alright, so, let's get out of chart mode. And then let's see what kind of effect this has on the solar system if this randomly appeared. So far, not that much, but as you can see, the sun is accelerating towards it. Also, let's um, take the view and put orbits instead. As you can see, orbits are getting a little elliptical. Not too much, but so far, but if we take a look at Uranus orbit is shifting just a little bit but wow this this looks crazy already let's take a look at the Sun and uh, we're at 14 days a second let's speed that up and just take a look at what happens at a faster rate okay this isn't that exciting so far but as you can see this star is coming closer and now a ton of stuff is about to impact it. Wonder what anyone on 2013 3FV 3FY 27 would see. Dang. That doesn't look very fun. But let's just watch from a distance how the solar system is is completely screwed up by this. You can see pretty soon the the earth is going to collide and stuff let's so far the outer solar system is already getting messed up I can't even find Neptune where's Neptune is Neptune still there oh yeah where's Neptune oh dang that is just one crazy orbit poor earth look at look at it it's just like completely on fire everything everyone's dead it's just sad. It really is sad. I mean, it's all blackened and stuff. And then there's Jupiter. Which is Jupiter. Right here. It's all burnt and roasty and toasty. Uranus is starting to heat up, which looks really weird. You wouldn't think you'd see orange clouds on Uranus. But apparently that happens. Not saying that this simulation is 100% correct, but let's just watch as everything burns up. <laughs> and now we got crazy... Or Actually, these orbits aren't too crazy, I mean, besides Saturn and Jupiter, but they still maintain a pretty nice shape. And now is the 
time for crazy orbits in the outer solar system. And no more outer solar system to be crazy. And the Earth is about to die. Let's slow this down. Now it's a completely molten rock. This is... I kind of feel bad for Earth. Let's slow this down to... Let's watch the last few hours of the Earth's existence as it gets roasted by a giant star. Just the last few days. It's too slow. Die quicker, Earth. Come on. You're boring me. Wait, is the Earth orbiting the star? What the? Will the Earth escape? That'd be awesome. Whoa, did the... The star blow up? Yeah, we have a supernova. We have achieved supernova. It's, it looks so weird. It's like it has a giant ward on it. So apparently the Earth will escape. I don't know if that supernova thing will happen, though. It's just sort of a thing that happens in Universe Sandbox. Stars collide and they supernova. Oh yeah, those are just impact marks. They're huge, though. They're massive. Will the Earth survive? The temperature is cooling off. Except the lag is not. The lag is real. Perhaps one day... Life will reemerge on this world. Temperature is cooling down just a bit. And then maybe water will come back. There's so much lag right now, it's not even funny. Actually, it is kind of funny. Okay, I don't remember Florida being that big, but... We can work this out. Oop, my bad. What happened to the Midwest? That's where I live. No. Oh, no, no, no. No. Too much. Too little. Too much. Too little. Can never get it right. Alright. I say that's enough. Earth will eventually freeze and die. And that is what happens if UI Scotty e comes near you. I assume humans will escape by then because ton tons of years have passed. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed that craziness with the star as we destroyed our solar system with the UI Scotty Nova Remnant. And make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And have a great day. Lever to one, signing out.